So, and don't worry about getting as close as you want. You can put that camera right here, whatever you want, Megan, and we'll practice. So uh, the way I do these turtles is, once I get the profile of their head here, pretty much, and they have a pretty broad head, a pretty big head. A snapping turtle has a large head for the size of the turtle. Uh, once I get the top view of the head, um, then I know that I have to get these little round eyes here. So I draw those eyes, which is primarily eyelid, and I draw a little circular eyeball in there to start with. And then we have to get this this curving line on, on his mouth, both sides, and make them symmetrical if you can. <clears throat> I like to end with the line curved down so it looks a little bit unhappy for a snapping turtle. And uh, I will end up changing the shape a little bit under here. So here's my line. I'm going to make it go in like that and then drop down into the throat area. So this much will get taken out of here. So that'll be sort of the finished profile. <clears throat> and I'll get to him in just a minute right now. <clears throat> I'm working on this fella, and I've almost gotten him finished up. I've done most of the work. You can see where I just did that indentation right there. I don't like to leave anything looking too, too sharp, so I like it to look rounded, but I don't ever use sandpaper. It all has to be done with a knife. So this, is, uh, this one's pretty good. I see a little piece of stuff right there that doesn't belong there, so let's find out what that is and get rid of it. Just take that off. All right, well, that, that one is just about done. Let's go start on the next one. So I have two done this morning. I have four more to go. So let's go on this fella.